Oh, that's got to be it up ahead. If that's not a monument to a dead Indian chief, then I don't know what is. Why is it that the only other people who like the stuff that I like are old people? Ho, 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 ho. This is it. It's got to be it. I would stake my reputation as a guy with a little teeny tiny YouTube channel on it. All 20 of my subscribers. <laughs> All right. The monument to Keokuk looks right out over the river. There it is. It says, sacred to the memory of Keokuk. And then there's some other words that are a little hard to read. I believe it says, distinguished sock chief. Something at Rock Island in 1788. Died in April of 1848. He had got speech that made him a war chief. I have heard with sorrow that you have determined to leave our village across the Mississippi merely because you've been told that the Americans were coming in this direction. Would you leave our village, desert our homes, and fly before an enemy approaches? Would you leave all, even the graves of our fathers, to the mercy of the enemy without trying to defend them? Give me charge of your warriors and I will defend the village while you sleep. Oh snap! This bronze statue was erected the efforts of the Keokuk Daughters of the American Revolution in 1913. Good job, ladies. Now, I'm trying to figure out why it's the alleged grave. So if I'm understanding this correctly, it says he died in 1848. Almost 40 years later, in 1883, his remains were moved from Kansas, where he was buried, to here. And the last line on the back of the monument says, his remains, rifle, and other items of historical value were then buried in the base of this monument. So maybe there's some debate as to whether or not the remains they moved 39 years post-mortem from Kansas to here in Keokuk were actually his or not. Maybe that's why it says it's the alleged grave of Chief Keokuk. That's just my guess combined with reading what it says on the pedestal, although it is a little hard to read. <laughs>